Every day looks a little different when you live and travel in a rolling home. Some days we're chasing items on our bucket list, seeing things that we never imagined we would see in our wildest dreams, while other days we're parked in epic free campsites or even, yes, campgrounds taking care of chores and work. But no matter what we have on our agenda, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to look completely different from day to day. Spend the next 24 hours with us as we travel from Washington to Montana, taking care of chores and finding the most epic boondocks spot right on the river. We're Zach and Allie and this is Nomadic Habits. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Spokane. 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 Where am I? Washington. And we are here to take Macy to the vet today. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You're probably wondering why we're not in the van. This doesn't look like the van. <laughs> big bed for the wind. We need to get a big bed in the van. Oh yeah. So we actually booked this hotel room because yesterday Zach and I were feeling a little... Wore out. Yeah, wore out. I guess that's the right word for it. And it was like 98 degrees outside, so hot. Even at like 7 p.m. last night, it was still 98 degrees. And this is actually only the fourth time in six years that we've ever gotten a hotel room or even really stayed outside of the van, I think. Yeah. There was that one time that we stayed with your mom for a little bit, but. So yeah, that's why we got a hotel room. Now we need to um, hit the road because Macy's appointment isn't like less than an hour, so. So basically, this is kind of what we do when we're traveling and they're like, our dogs are due for shots and things. We find a local clinic that accepts new patients. We let them know that we're just passing through, but we really just need to get their up, their like vaccines updated. Pretty much anyone will work with you too when you do that, so. Are you ready to go into the doctor? She says, I don't know. Good morning. Oh, yeah. very good girl. Good, okay, cool. So we have the heart You're welcome. Macy, you did good, she said. You did good. Yeah, was it? Oh, did you, you do okay? okay? You just got a little band aid. Oh. You okay? Oh, you sweet girl. We'll get you ice cream after this. Okay, ice cream. Ice cream. Now that Macy's got her bed done, and Zach just ran into Costco to get her medicine, we are Idaho back. Yeah. All right. Let's get to dump our toilet. Woo! <laughs> Idaho. Woo! Welcome to Idaho. Zach wasn't kidding when he said we were coming to Idaho to dump the toilet. That's literally what we're doing. We found a free dump station. There are four bays, and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> My feet are sweating really bad right now. <laughs> well guys, welcome to beautiful Montana. I know it seems very odd that we would just like completely bypass Idaho, but we were just coming through the panhandle and we found this super epic spot for boondocking here in Montana right on. Can we just talk about how freaking cool that is? The wind's blowing awfully hard today, so we'll be uh, probably just hanging out a little bit. We probably won't be going in the water because it'll be cold, but oh my gosh, y'all. I am so excited for this. If you're ever wondering what the van looks like after a full day of traveling, check it out. And that's not even the half of it. Almost done. Then I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my very first ever Montana sunset. Nice. Well, the girls have already found the water. I don't know if you can see them, but that was the first place that they went. What do you think, home for the next- This is beautiful. Night? At least. Two nights? Maybe two nights. Three nights? Maybe 14. You can stay for 16 here. We've 
seen any of the previous videos, you know, I don't do well going down. We're up, apparently. Whoa, whoa. Alright, after all day of driving around and running errands and getting Macy all fixed up with her medicine, it feels good just to sit down and relax. After cleaning the van. Mm-hmm. It's a lot to clean. And I think we might have actually found one of the best boondocking spots. In all of Montana? Yeah. And it's the first spot we've stopped in Montana too. But I think we're going to enjoy this sunset and uh, make some dinner. We'll catch you later. Peace out. Check out this sunset, though.